A wireless network is an unbounded data communication system that uses radio frequency. They are easy to maintain and are inexpensive when compared to wired networks. A wireless network can be easily compromised if adequate security measures are used. Using a high security mechanism for a wireless network may be expensive. Hence, we should first determine the critical sources, risks and vulnerabilities associated with it and then check whether the current security mechanism is able to protect the wireless network against all possible attacks. If not, then upgrade to the security mechanism. Hi everyone, welcome you all to Taxi's YouTube channel. Today we're going to dive in and see what is wireless security or else what is Wi-Fi security. So let's get going and figure out how can we protect our wireless network from unauthorized access. As global networks expand, the interconnection of the world's information systems, the smooth operation of uh, communication and computing solutions become vital. However, recurring events such as virus and worm attacks and the success of criminal attackers illustrate the weaknesses in the current information technologies and the need to provide heightened security for these systems. Wi-Fi security algorithms have been through many changes and upgrades since the 1990s to become more secure and more effective. Different types of wireless security protocols are developed for home wireless network protection. The wireless security protocols are WEP, WPA and WPA2, serving the same purpose but being different at the same time. So now, let me brief the abbreviations of those Wi-Fi protocols for you. WEP, Wired Equal Privacy. WPA, Wi-Fi Protected Access. WPA2, Wi-Fi Protected Access Version 2. Now, let's go down and figure out what are those protocols. WEP, or else Wired Equivalent Privacy. Well, WEP was first released as a portion of IEEE 802.11 standard in 1999. WEP was supposed to offer the same security level as a wide network. However, there are a lot of well-known security issues in WEP which is also easy to break and hard to configure. In spite of all the work that has been done to improve the WEP system, it is still a highly vulnerable solution. As the years passed, WEP was deemed broken and since it has been replaced by uh, two other iteration wireless security protocols, WPA and WPA2. Wired equivalent privacy, sometimes referred to as wired equivalent protocol. Now, WPA, or else Wi-Fi Protected Access. For the time, the 802.11i wireless security standard was in development. WPA was used as a temporary security enhancement for WEP. One year before WEP was officially abandoned, WPA was formally adopted. WPA was a significant enhancement over WEP but as the core components were made so they could be rolled out through the firmware upgrades on WEP enabled devices, they still relied on two exploited elements. WPA, just like WEP, after being put through a proof of concept and applied public demonstrations turned out to be pretty vulnerable to intrusion. The attack that posed the most threat to the protocols were, however, not the direct one, but those were made on Wi-Fi protected setup. Auxiliary system developed to simplify the linking of devices to modern access points. Now, let's have a look at the final protocol, WPA2. Wi-Fi protected access version 2. Wi-Fi Protected Access version 2 is a security standard to secure computers connected to a Wi-Fi network, which was introduced in 2004. 
the most important improvement uh, in WPA2 over WPA is the usage of advanced encryption standard, AES. AES is approved by the US government for encrypting the information classified as top secret. So it must be good enough to protect home Wi-Fi networks. WPA and WPA2 are concurrent security standards. WPA addressed the majority of the IEEE 802.11i standards and the WPA2 certification achieved full compliance. However, WPA2 will not work with the same old network cards, thus the need for concurrent security standards. Now we know the protocols that are being used in wireless security network and now we will see what is the most to our Wi-Fi network. So here we go. Here is the basic rating from best to the worst uh, of the modern Wi-Fi security methods that are available on modern routers. That means after 2006. So according to this, the best way to go is to deactivate the Wi-Fi protected setup or else WPS and set the router on WPA2 plus AES. Now, you may be wondering, why this method? Well, here is the answer. Both WPA and WPA2 are supposed to secure wireless internet connections from unauthorized access. If you leave your router with no security, then anyone can steal your bandwidth, perform illegal actions from your connection and name, monitor your web activities, and easily install malicious apps on your network, which could be really dangerous. Now, the next question that you might be having is what's with the encryption speed? Well, depending on what security protocols you use, the data speed can be affected. WPA2 is the fastest of the encryption protocols while WEP is the slowest. Now, we know a lot about different types of Wi-Fi security protocols. So it's time for us to see how we can protect our Wi-Fi networks. WPA2 offers more protection than WPA and uh, therefore provides even more protection than WEP. The security of your routers heavily depends on the passwords that you set. WPA and WPA2 let you use passwords up to uh, 63 characters. Here is a small tip for you to ensure the security of your Wi-Fi network. Use as many various characters as possible in your Wi-Fi network password because the hackers are more interested in to, uh, easier targets. So if they didn't get a chance to break into your Wi-Fi network within several minutes, then they will most likely move on looking for another vulnerable target. Now, with a perfect knowledge of what is Wi-Fi security, what are those security protocols, and what is the best method for your Wi-Fi network, and how to ensure the security of your Wi-Fi network, I think you will pay more attention on securing your Wi-Fi networks. Hackers are out there, so watch out. I hope you learned something really interesting in our today's video. So if you like the video, go ahead, give it a thumb up. And if you still haven't subscribed to Texas, go ahead and subscribe us. And don't forget to hit the bell icon so that you will never miss any of my new videos. And I would really love to hear your comments about today's video. And what would you like for me to bring out in my next video? So comment down in the comment section. And uh, until we meet with another interesting video. Bye-bye.